Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the HDMI output on the Motorola Droid X. Let's get to it. Okay, so the Droid X, like the HTC Evo 4G, has this HDMI output. They are among the first devices to have this, which is really handy, but you really can't do much with it, as I'm going to show you in this video. Now, this cable that I have, I got off of eBay for about $10. It's an HDMI Type D connector. Uh, I'll put a link up in the description and in the post in case you want to get one for yourself. So, I'm just going to plug it in and show you how it works. You can't do too many things with it, so I'm going to turn on the Droid X unlock the screen. There are some settings associated with HDMI, not that many. Uh, you can change the HDMI format to a variety of resolutions here. I tried to put it on 720p 50 hertz and this relatively new TV couldn't handle it. It's kind of strange. Uh, so I leave it on automatic and that seems to do it. So you have to be in the gallery to get this to work. So I'm going to jump into the gallery where I have here a video, a video that I've recorded on the device. And if I wait a second, uh, the TV is going to change into the playback. So just give it a second and what's happening is it's just sitting on the playback screen and eventually it will recognize that it's time to play it on the on the TV. Okay, and now it recognizes it. This is what happens and you're going to see the video go full screen, pretty good. This is 720p video being scaled to 1080p, so it doesn't look terribly great, but it's smooth. The playback is smooth. I'll let you listen for a sec. So imagine if you recorded a soccer game on here or something like that and you're at your friend's house and really quick you want to just put it up on the TV. This is a great way to do it. Uh, since the Droid X doesn't support that many video formats like DivX, it's going to be a little bit limiting. It's not likely that you will, you know, download a full movie on your computer, transfer it to your Droid X and have it play because it's just not that versatile. So we can go back to the previous screen. I'll show you how this looks with photos. So I'm just going to tap on one of these photos. These are very high resolution photos, although they're going to output in only 1080 by 720 resolution. It's not going to scale it up. But of course, that may have to do with the TV setting. So I can press over here, kind of go, go through a slideshow of pictures. It's a nice touch. Or I can press the play button just to get it to automatically go through. Say I just took some pictures on my device. I want to show off what I took. And so smooth transitions. It works. It works. It would be really nice if this HDMI out actually outputted everything that's on the screen at all times so that I could have this on the screen, I could play YouTube, I could read my email, um, all those sort of things. But right now, the Droid X doesn't support that many things. So again, I'll put a link up in the description and in the post on how to get this HDMI connector. It's about 10 bucks, and it's good to have if you have a Droid X, an Evo 4G, or any other smartphone that has the HDMI output. Please thumbs up the video if you liked it, and thanks for watching.